Okay, I'm going to make this video about some um, particular products that I think everybody ought to buy. And uh, I'm a truck driver. So uh, I'm normally not carrying a bug out bag. I'm carrying a bug in bag. I'm normally out and got to get back. So... Uh, same thing applies so this would be for your bug out bag just a few items i think you should buy and i'll tell you why these are all items that only cost a couple of dollars so you know my thoughts always been you could have all the wonderful products in the world we know cabela's carries everything you'll ever need but if you can't afford it it ain't worth a damn sitting on the shelf out there so this here is uh, 25 feet of paracord and of course it comes in, you know, goes into a bracelet that has a, a compass on it, a high pitch whistle and a striker rod here. And it's not very big but it works fine and you can strike it with the knife that, that is on the other end. The knife isn't, you know, it ain't a Rambo knife, but it's sharp as hell. It's carbon steel, and it, was, it throws a good spark, you know. Uh, I've used a lot of char cloth, and uh, get a fire going in a second with it. I make my own char cloth in these, these little tins here. I'll, maybe I'll do a video about that. I, I buy them at the dollar store, too. They look like this, four for a buck another good buy and I carry you know plenty of it you just cut the cotton and fill this thing all the way full poke one small tiny hole in the top shove it back on there throw it in the fire and let it gas all the gas will come out in the carbon there won't be nothing but sheets of carbon this is an old t-shirt that's all you end up with is the carbon one little spark hits that it takes right off you know, that's how the old uh, mountain men used to do it. You can use, uh, you know, driftwood or anything, little little pieces and put in there and just have, you know, make some punk wood out of it. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, but this here, you can get this to your house, you know, for two bucks and uh, that's hard to beat. I've got probably, there's another one. I mean, that's how they show up. I don't give a damn about the packaging or nothing, but. I probably got 10 of them around my house and uh, it's just a good item to have. Hell, a uh, 25 foot of paracord, you know, 440 is worth that. And like I say, two bucks, it works. You can't go wrong with that one. And this one here, I've had this one, this one in particular for four years. I've got several of them. But this one comes with a standard Android plug which you can put any plug on it i give one to my son he's got a damn damn iphone you know it'll plug right in but this little charger is built like a tank this one here is four years old and uh, this one here you can get this one to your house for three to four dollars you can get it for free and whatever they're paying for the shipping at the moment you know it's it varies i buy these on wish but that, believe it or not, you just go like this, that is a super fast charger. And, you know, you can realistically charge anything, but a phone, don't take no time at all to charge a phone with them. I mean, I've had them, uh, you know, completely dead and charged them up. That's just uh, a good buy, and, you know, you should have one in your home, and don't hurt to have one in a get getaway bag or a bug out bag, whatever you want to call it. Like I say, I call them get home when you're, yeah, I'm home now, but normally, <laughs> I used to be gone all the time. Now this, you might think this is kind of silly. I, I just put these in here in this jar. There's a 75 in here. I don't know, these here come in like 25 in a bag. You can buy them 50 or 100. But you can get these for about 
you can get a hundred of them for three or four bucks. It looks like a, oh, I don't know, an antacid pill, a little small, a little bigger. But those are compressed towels, and um, I'd always heard about them. And I'll just add a few drops of water on here. And you see how that damn thing grows? And you, you can see how absorbent that that is. My thinking on that was that if you had a bad cut and you, you was to throw one of these in the wound or stick it up again it and compress it, uh, anything that's that compressed and it just keeps absorbing. You know, would help stop bleeding you know if you were severely wounded i guess if you had a big enough gunshot wound you might have to put a couple of them in the wound but this thing folds out and uh they're just good to have because they don't take up no room and it folds out to a, a full size i think it's about eight and a half by eleven and real tough towel you know what i mean and like I say, they're dirt cheap. You know, a woman could, you know, keep these in her purse or something and just uh, take them up to the water fountain, you know, and wet them. And they're tough, you know, they're not uh, like a paper, regular paper towel. They're, they're pretty damn strong. And uh, here goes another one. Now, I do a lot of hiking and camping, so this is a solar cigarette lighter, and uh, I don't smoke cigarettes, but you put any kind of tinder right in this top of this spring, point that right into the sun till it's hitting this spring, whatever's in there, and I'm not kidding you, this thing, I'll do a live demonstration if we ever see the sun again. I mean, I, don't, I, I probably ought to take this damn thing and do it at work, I guess. Only time I see it, when I'm, when I'm off work, it rains. But this thing will catch uh, that tender on fire. And I mean, just a couple seconds, literally. I mean, it's, it's, it's um, well made. I was surprised it was, uh, was as easy as it was. I've seen these around, but I never bought one. And this here was free, like two bucks for the shipping sent to the house. Really, you know, I mean, it'd be good to show to your kids, you know what I mean? And everybody needs some of these in their, in their home. That's a tourniquet. And this is well made. And uh, what they use it on here, they use 440 paracord. And then they got this band on here that... When you put it around anything, you pull it up, it tightens, and then you got to move it to the side to get it to loosen. But it's just one pull, and uh, very well made. These here, two bucks, you know, it's free, and then two dollars shipping. These are uh, really handy to have, and everybody needs to carry these or have them in your first aid kit. I mean it to home and carry them with you these are very important i think anyway and here from the dollar tree these flashlights the only place i've ever seen them they carry them and i have about six or seven of them i carry one in in the truck at all times always have i got one in the car and i uh, keep one in my bag and i've got a, several of them out here in the garage but this thing here, you just squeeze it like that. These things are built pretty good too, because uh, I've had this one here for several years. And then if you want to, you know, lock it down, you just move that. That locks it up here. Surprisingly bright, but that thing will burn for an hour now, just on about 30 seconds of cranking. And uh, see how bright it is. And I just don't know how you can go wrong having them around your house, you know what I mean? Or carry them with you, because there's no battery whatsoever. 
it's a uh, it's actually pretty impressive especially for the money one dollar I just I don't see how you can go wrong with that and this thing will light up uh, quite a bit you know at night like a your campsite or whatever while you're trying to get other things going the most important thing is you never had to worry about the batteries did you bring batteries are they you know dead but for one dollar this is a must I think everybody needs to buy you know, several of them as far as I'm concerned that's at the Dollar Tree everything else I, I showed you here came from wish.com I'm not God knows I ain't affiliated with nobody if they want to send me some money or free stuff send away but uh, yeah I don't get a penny out of them I wish I did I ain't gonna <laughs> lie but uh, it's, yeah it's good stuff uh, I hope you take it serious I hope you begin to prepare for anything you know you don't have to worry about if you, your neighbors think you're a kook or something tell them you know you're uh, well actually you shouldn't tell them nothing but your family or whatever I don't know that's up to you I know like I say, the scariest thing I can think of is relying on this government to take care of me and my family. Mainly my grandson. If it was just me, you don't know what I might be doing. But, um, uh, I hope you, uh, I hope somebody gets something out of this. And believe it or not, if one person listens to this and says, you know, I agree, then, uh, believe me, that will make me quite happy because the masses are asses I understand that you know most people ain't going to uh, pay attention to nothing you know they'll be knocking on the old arch door as we're going under I guess <laughs> all right I hope you enjoyed it hope you got something out of it